Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be putting together this DIY calculator by Geekrete. I bought this thing off of Banggood um, some time ago. So I've had this thing for a while now, I just haven't put it together. But uh, today I'm going to be soldering it and uh, you can follow along. I'm just going to show you how to do it. And then I'm going to end up making another video there that will just uh, show you a review of it, what it can do and all that wonderful stuff. So this is it. I'm just going to just pull everything out of its bag. Comes with these little uh, little numbers and all that wonderful stuff. As you can see, we have the main board here. We'll have a look at that after. We've got some buttons. I'm going to pull them out. Put them off to the side. They're kind of uh, loud, but hey, whatever. We got the processor here. Of the IC and got some screws. I'll just keep those in the bag for now. I'll keep those in the bag. Actually, I'll pull them out. Why not? I'll just uh, move them off to the side. I'll keep those screws in the bag. I guess I'll keep these transparent things in the bag for now. Here's the outside case. Let's keep that off on the side again. And we have the screen here. I'll keep that in its bubble wrap for now. So we have in here I see a capacitor diodes and resistors more resistors I see some transistors here and the transistor just some pins and that's pretty much it there's really nothing much in here I think I've already marked these actually no I didn't one of these have been marked but I'm just gonna run it through my multimeter anyways so let's have a look at this board first you can see everything is marked on here so we have a 10k resistor 10k resistor right there so this is 9013 trend or transistor more resistors here here's where your IC would go and it shows you the direction there um, there's diodes right here what direction they go um, jumper pins buttons button direction doesn't really matter as long as you actually go in there so yep um, that's pretty much it this is a really basic board here's where your battery um, your coin cell batteries would go and those are um, CR2032 batteries which I have, I have a pack here I actually got a few packs but uh, yeah um, as always, I start with resistors, but before I do that, I'm just going to have to test everything to make sure they are what they are. Uh, this thing did come with a piece of paper. Let's have a look at it. So we have a schematic at the top right here. Uh, we have the board. We pretty much have just what your functions are on it, but I'll probably just mention all that in the other video that I'll do with this. For resistors, it doesn't matter what direction they go. So this is 331, 333. So I've already tested everything. Uh, I'm going to be putting the resistors, the Zener diodes in, and uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I guess the uh, ceramic capacitor can wait for now, and the transistors. They just go into where they're supposed to go, so like, if you have a look here. So you can tell 10Ks go there, there's a 1K there, 10K there, uh, your Zener diodes go here. Uh, on the Zener diodes there's a black line, so that would go where this white line is. Up here we have a 330 resistor, and yeah, those are all that I'm going to be putting in first. So like I said with the Zener diodes, you can see there's the black line right there. That would go where that white line is, right down there. I love doing these little projects. They're really fun. I'm not really learning anything doing it. Still fun. And at least you get a new toy to play with, right? Something that you actually soldered together. So for these resistors, it doesn't really matter what direction they go. So as you can see, this is how I have it set up. The 330s at the top here. The Zener diodes right here. You can see that the black lines are facing the the white direction there. So that those ones actually have a direction. These resistors don't. But as you can see, I just like to make them look like they do. And 1K, 10K over there. Um, so yeah, I had an extra 330 and an extra 
what is it, 1K? I don't know. But yeah, I had this nice. I don't see any other places on the board. That's where all the buttons go there, so there's nothing else there. Alrighty. I'm just going to turn on my little fan. I don't want that crap blowing at me. I think that's good. I think I got them all. I just gotta snip off the ends. Let's move you out of my way. So now those have all been soldered into place. Which way I solder on next? Do I wanna do these battery thingies? There is um, a slit. As you can see right here, this is probably the direction that the uh, coin cell battery goes in. So that would be like this. So you slide it in that direction, so I take it that's exactly what you do. So I guess to solder these suckers on next, easy enough to do. Put your back on here. Let's nail uh, just the top ends first with solder. I'm not going to completely solder them. Just in case I want to push down on it a little bit. Man, that takes a lot of solder. Looks fine to the board. Yeah, it'll work. So this is how I have it. So you can slide it in on the sides. Like so. So I think the next thing I want to do is put this little, uh, little IC socket on. There is a direction on it too. There's a little curve in the middle. So that would follow the little curve um, over here on the side. You can kind of see it right there. Um, although, it, honestly, these little sockets don't matter, but it's best to do it anyways. That way you can use this as the guide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack down one pin here on it and then the opposite side pin over here. Uh, that way that I can push on this when I have it uh, have the solder in liquid form and then it'll push it up against the board. So I get one of the pins first. I got one of the pins, I get the other pin. Now I'll just push on this and it didn't make a difference, but at least I did it. And how about this one? That one actually moved. I felt that. I just want to double check this one again. Yeah, it didn't move. So it's laying flat on the board now. So all I have to do is just continue to solder the rest of the pins. And that's it. Maybe I should put that back on. I'll solder all that. This is lead solder after all. I don't want to breathe that crap in. Just not good to the health. All right. So now that's been added. For reference, this will show you what I've did so far. I've put these resistors on, the Zener diodes. I've put these little battery coin cell battery holders on. I just put this on. So this is what it looks like on the back so far. Just make sure that you don't have any bridges. We'll check through all that after. Obviously, I can see that there is none, but uh, always make sure that you're not bridging anything. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is uh, these transistors right here. Now, as you can see, this one says 9013-8550-7550, right? And just make sure that when you do put them in that they are the exact same. They are labeled on there. All right, so you can kind of somewhat see this one. This is 7550. So that would go, that one would go right here, 7550. So yeah, just make sure that you do read what they say and put them in the right direction. They also have a direction, as you can see, that this here has like cutouts on the corners right there. That would be the same as this. One side's flat, and then the other side's are curved. So just make sure that they are in the right direction. I will show you. All right, so this is how it should look. 
and just uh, snip off your pins after when you're done soldering them to make sure that they are in the right direction. So the next one will be the ceramic capacitor. As you see it says 104 and the value does say 104 on here. As you can see it's upside down there. So yeah, just put them in here. There is no direction on this capacitor. All right, it's time to solder it. Good to go. And I'll snip off the leads on this one as well. All right, so it should look something like that. So what should I do next? Uh, probably this pin header up here. Probably do that next. Hey guys, this is my future self. I just want to let you know that when you do solder this pin header, uh, make sure that it's on an angle facing towards the IC. I didn't do that, but uh, just do it anyway. Since that or you're probably going to end up bending the pins and putting stress on your solder joints. And put it into the board. And I'll just flip this thing upside down. I'll push on it same time while reflowing it. Now we can go ahead and just solder all the all the pins together. I'm not really sure what the deal is with P1 but just kind of following uh, the, the rails here this one is going directly into the coin cell and this one might be going into the yeah it's going into the negative end so I take it this is an external power source so you don't have to use the coin cell batteries you can just use that if you really wanted but I don't see any other any other pin headers for it so that's just an option I guess if you want to use that so I guess the next thing will be the buttons it's actually really easy for me to test them I just have to untangle this mess first you and continuity testing pin on the other I'm sure they work. I'm not even going to bother. I'll test it all when it's all live. So yeah, uh, just put these buttons in. There isn't any direction at all. They just want to fall out, so I'm going to have to tack. Push one in, tack it, push the next one in, tack it, and then solder it all together. So I have just one... Uh, just one of these ends tacked down on every single button and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it, uh, the solder back to its liquid state and I'm going to push down um, on the buttons onto the board that way it will actually sit flat as you can see some of them are kind of up off of the board a bit and just not sitting correctly so yeah just tack them down and uh, then you can solder them all into place alright as you can kind of see that they're uh, sitting a lot better on the board. Now I can go ahead and just solder every single point. And I don't think I need to cut off the ends. I might be able to get away with just leaving them on. If not, I will snip them off when I have to put the case on. Well, I guess all that's left for this board now is the IC still stuck in foam here? Pull it out. Hmm, some of the pins are bent on it. Uh, there we go. So here's the IC. Uh, we do have a direction. As you can see, there's the little curve. It's the same type of curve that uh, you have to deal with for the socket right here. And the one that was on the board, which is kind of hiding now. But uh, yeah, make sure that this curve on the IC is sitting in the same direction as this one when you put it into the socket. And you can see there's the curve, same curve that you put on the socket, and the same curve that is on the board. So yeah, just make sure it's going in the right direction. Besides so that, this board is done. I don't see anything else that needs to be done. We've already put... Uh, our zener diodes in here, or resistor, 
our ceramic capacitor, our transistors are in here in the right values. Our uh, three volts um, battery, um, coin cell battery. Sorry, my bad. I had to think there. Put this on here. Um, so yeah, these take three volts each. So you can rough, I guess, give this thing six volts from that up there if you really wanted to. But you want this thing portable. All the buttons are placed down properly. They're all flat to the board. Looks really good. I left the the pin sticking out on there. Everything is soldered together. All I have to do is just inspect it and just make sure everything's good to go. Which um, just you know what I could probably do that with this camera. Mm, that looks good. So far, everything seems to be good. Let's get up a little bit closer. Yeah, this camera just does not like that. I see I could have uh, snipped that a little bit better, which I can do yet. Everything has been soldered. Same thing goes with this one over here. Just fix that up. But other than that, that's it. Everything looks good. That looked perfect, and the other one was what? Oh, this one. Yeah, that's it. That board is now complete. Uh, time to go onto the screen because I guess I got to solder these pins onto that. And I know this this pin header obviously goes like this onto the bottom end of the screen. And then I guess it just sits up like that. I guess you bend it to give it that curve to it. I guess solder these pins on here. Um, same thing as I did with all the buttons. And the other one is tack one corner here and then tack the other side and then push down on it to make sure it's nice and flat. And then I guess just make sure that it's uh, sitting properly. I don't know if I should put it on an angle. Or what? Because if I don't put it on an angle now and I, I start soldering this thing together and I start pushing it that direction, that's a lot of strain on the solder joints there. There is a bit of an angle. Let's have a look. Do, do, do. How about this? Wow. That is really on an angle. <laughs> wow. People have really. Did that dude do it wrong? Look at that. I see the black end facing that direction. This is what he ended up doing. He did his wrong. When he did his. Instead of having it like this, he like put this. Down like that. Why? No, you don't do that. You just put it on like this, and then solder it from this side. <laughs> so that guy did that wrong. Uh, yes, he did that. Wow, I'm I'm gonna have to make sure that shit's straight. Cause that, <laughs> wow, that's ugly. <laughs> nice job there, dude. You made. Oh wow, it even looks worse when it's zoomed in. Oh boy. Ugh. Yeah. I'm gonna make that look straight as best as I can. Ha! Huh. So this dude has a wire so you can theoretically use a 9 volt battery. But this is that's three, three, so that's six volts, and you're dumping in nine? I bet that thing would probably get pretty warm. Maybe. Hmm. Okay. And just tack these corners down. Oh, 
I'm just going to only tack this down because I want to actually have a look at the case as well. I'm not going to continue any further than this. So yeah, I'll just leave you tacked. Guess deal with the annoying part. I hate this paper crap that they stick on this plastic, but I'm just going to keep everything in their paper in its paper for now. I just want to actually see how this thing sits. Direction. Let me go on here like that. Let me go on like this. And then this thing sits down like that. So the board. Is there um space? Oh, there is spacers here too. Yeah, the board would be sitting up a little bit higher than this. I'm going to go on to the back, uh, putting this thing on an angle. Ow. It's hot. So, I don't know if you should follow me on that, but that's what I'm going to do. I don't want to put too much stress on this. Since this thing's going to be on an angle, I think that'd probably be wise to do it like this. That way you don't have to try to push against this and then put strain on your solder joints. Just clamp you and just solder the rest of the points in. Yeah. So, I guess I should test this thing first. Make sure it works before I actually start putting it all together, right? So it's just kind of like floating up like that, as you can see. So it's kind of a good idea. I put it on a on a bend. I don't find out if it actually works or not. Alright. Well, they're in. Um, oh, it just turned on. So I'm not really sure what uh, the zeros mean in the corners yet. Can I turn it off? Turn on. So this is apparently seven, seven, four. Uh, which one's plus? Plus is the very bottom. Plus. So you know, can we clear this? Yes, we can. Three, three rows. So this is six. And then times four. What is the equal? Should be 24. Yeah, that's 24. So it works. Awesome. So I guess I'll deal with these little transparent thingies here first. Okay. So I didn't mention what I'm doing here, but I'm using a ruler and a knife to cut out these buttons from the paper. Pete's using scissors. So I got all these cut out now. I'm just going to be putting them into their little transparent uh, window things here. So I skipped ahead a bit uh, just to figure all this out. That way I can explain it a little bit better for you. So. There is two of these. One of them is just a template to figure out exactly where the buttons go, and that's this one right here. Uh, the other one I cut out, uh, I just put them into the transparent part here, and then you just cover it with the blue piece and just sandwich that together like that. I think it would be best to put these buttons on first before you actually put this thing onto the, uh, the acrylic. Just a heads up if you guys do do this. Push it down and it should click into place. So, um, the next part is, is putting this board onto uh, this transparent acrylic. And I figured it out. Uh, you got a hole up here. And then you got another hole right off to the side of it. You'll notice that there is a hole off to the side right here. That goes to the one on the side right here, as you can see. So let's make sure that it goes there. Then you'll have another hole here, one down there. Wait, actually, it's a little closer. There's one there, thing there and there. You'll see the same holes here on the board. There's one there, here, here. Here. So there's five spots that you need to fill. So we do have some screws that um, has to go from the bottom up. And then you use these little transparent spacers right here in order to fill it. So I'll show you that. Uh, these like smaller screws here are actually meant to go onto here. So uh, the longer screws are for something else. So small, 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 small. 
and then you use the little transparent spacers right here you just put them on and then your board would sit on top of that but first of all I just want to kind of clean it off and get rid of my fingerprints because I just don't want fingerprints on it alright so uh, the board just sits on top of that and then you put these tiny little screws on alright I thought I would let you know that uh, those aren't screws you're putting nuts onto the screws I have absolutely no idea what I was saying but I just want to hear it again anyways and then you put these tiny little screws on <laughs> yeah those are nuts put the nuts on the screws okay just don't over tighten it you just don't want to break the acrylic or stress the board out or just any of that right just enough where it won't move since I'm already recording my editor um, I definitely do recommend taking the PCB out of the acrylic case and then putting the buttons onto the or putting the little transparent pieces onto the buttons and then put the PCB back into the acrylic case um, I decided to just put them on when it was in the acrylic case it did flex a little bit but it didn't seem to hurt it so it's up to you um, as I already gave you a pre-warning I would definitely be taking the PCB out and then put the buttons in and put it back in so this is how it should look we have a screw coming up from the bottom and we have a transparent spacer there and then the nut on top of that so there's one spot there there up there you can see it right here and then right here and then over here so just make sure that it looks exactly like that so I guess the next part since this is the template is to put these buttons on so I have them mirrored just like this so I got like this is the on button no oh, that isn't the on button which one's the on button ah okay so on button you just push it down and it should click into place well now since the buttons are in the bottom is on this I think the screen would be next um, work with the screen so it faces that way uh, hey this thing is dirty I wonder if I can just clean it up is there any thing that's on it where I can peel it off so this is the part where I got to tell you that there is a thin layer of plastic that you do got to peel off the black piece up here and down here um, I didn't know that there was one on here I kind of suspected there was but uh, yeah I thought this thing was dirty but just because it was dirty but apparently there is a piece of plastic layer that you do got to peel off and then it'll be shiny you can kind of see it on here so yeah I actually built it with the uh, with the little bit of plastic there so I'm eventually gonna peel that off I might do it in my review video or just do it off camera but um, yeah I was kind of wondering why it was dirty that's why so the black screws are meant for this so I'll just put four screws in here okay let's flip you upside down and put the spacers on now these are the um, not the transparent spacers are the white ones so they're going on next and then the board so the pin out is facing at the, the thickest end. And I'll just slide it on in. And then the larger nuts would go on next. Just snug it down, don't over tighten it. And so this is how it should look. I'm not bothered peeling this thing off until it's completely done. And this is the side. So you can see there's the non-transparent, well it kind of is semi-transparent um, spacer, not on this side, that is on an angle, so it should sit something like this. And of course this is done and ready to roll. So hopefully everything's good to go. 
Um, I guess I gotta put the batteries back in here. Can I do that with this thing on? Yeah, yeah the battery is in. Hopefully it turns on. Oh, yeah, it does. I just want to check all the buttons here. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. That looks good. Okay, all the buttons work. Well, I think it's time to put the rest of the case on. So this is the back. And I would just go on like this. As you can see. I'm just trying not to touch it as much because I don't want fingerprints on it. And one of the sides over here. And the other side. And then I guess this front part. And this is kind of dirty. That should be wiped off as well. So should this sit in between or maybe underneath the screen? Hmm. Can I slide it under the screen? Maybe lift the screen a bit. Oh yeah. And well, that's not too bad. There's a bit of stress though on that screen. Hopefully not too too bad though. Um, so yeah, now these long screws. I guess we can do the bottom part here first. We could go straight up, or maybe down. Put a nut on that. Just want one there now maybe this one in the back deal with that next so that's another small screw now I found out that the best way of dealing with this is get a screwdriver that has a magnet on it like this you just slowly slip that nut right in there while it's holding it Get the screw ready to push up against it. And then just try to screw it into place. Like that. Oh, and then the camera had to be blurry. I'm sorry, guys. Like that. And I guess I'll do that with the screen next as well. Now the other screws, yeah, I'm going to change these ones though, I'm going to make them face downwards. Okay, I guess for the last thing I want to do to it is, I just want to clean up the bottom here real quick, because if you have a look here, it's kind of not sturdy, it's probably because of the screws here, just one of them longer than the other, so I do have uh, some of these little no slip stoppers that I'm going to use and you just don't want it to scratch the surface of your your table or something anyways right so it just makes more sense to use one of these put some rubbers on the bottom of it there and there it's not uh, it's not wobbling all over the place and it'll stay in one spot there is a bow, so if you have a look right here, there's a bow in the middle at the top edge here, but there's not at the bottom here. It's probably because it's not being, uh, um, being held up properly there, but oh well, don't matter. Uh, these ends right here, though, this is kind of a complaint. There should have been a screw here and then one on this side because it wants to push out because of the screen. Besides that, that's it. It works. Awesome. So I just want you to see here, so large screw here, large screw here, 
on the other side is a large screw here one down here um, small screw up here and on the other side small screw there small screw here like I said there should have been one up here there and I just put some rubbers on the bottom of it so it doesn't wobble all over the place and it'll actually stay properly so there you go that's it but But I can only go for so many. Well, that's a bummer. Oh. I guess I'll have one S. Boobless. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial on how to put this thing together. I will be making a review video of this. And as always, I will be making the review on my website of it as well. So... Besides that, uh, please do rate, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.